Hey, what's up guys? Welcome yourselves back to another video. Uh, so today we're going to be going to be reviewing Rod Wave's new song Smile off of his deluxe album Pray For Me. Uh, we hit the song uh, Letter From Houston off of his deluxe album. This is our second Rod Wave review ever, but uh, it doesn't have to be just our second. If you want us to do other songs off of this deluxe album, let us know. Uh, comment down below and all that. But um, Smile, um, interested to see what this sounds like. Um, yeah, let's give it a listen. Oh man, after hearing my second Rod Wave song, I mean, I gotta be honest, I wasn't as impressed with Smile as I was about Letter from Houston, but that doesn't stop me from liking Rod Wave more than I already do. Uh, for starters, uh, this really showcases his talent, I think, uh, his ability to come up with the lyrics. Uh, I don't know enough Rod Wave to be talking about, but I'm just going to be talking about what you know, I observed from listening to this. Uh, I don't know enough, for example, to say if this is actually his story. Like, if this is something he just made up to put along with the song. I would assume either it's way, his story for sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> Again, I don't know. Yeah, but that's true. either I way, know. I like how he manages to do that with this song. He just tell a story, and it's so in a, in this rhythmical way that you know is rap, and um for the beat. I wasn't paying attention as much to the beat, but more so the story, because of how interesting that was. That's, again, something that hit me. But the beat just went along with it fine. I really don't have as many uh, compliments about the beat for this one. That's only because I was enjoying it. Uh, I definitely think it is solid, though. Uh, those are my thoughts on it. I think an 8.0, because it is still very solid. 8.0 out of 10. Uh, Sean, give me your thoughts. I like this a lot better than the last one, actually. Um, just because of the story, man, I, I relate to what he's saying, bro. Uh, it's like, you know, so, all right, so I'm gonna get personal. So, so when I am feeling like when things are going well in my life, or things are going good, or I'm feeling happy, or I, it could be something just as simple as I get a good grade, or I did that, I did that. I think more positively about things, but if things ain't going, going good for me and all that, I think negatively sometimes about things and all of that. Like, not to that, not like, oh, I, probably, I hate that person so much, but I, I just think negatively, more negative overall, you know what I mean? And I think we all do that to a point. When things are going good for you, you know, you you want to, it, 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 humans shouldn't do it, but it sounds like that's kind of what he was talking about. He, 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 um, he said in a line, like, back then, I would have, like, now, he didn't say this exact thing, but like basically back then, I I'd hate on that person, um, but but nowadays, I got a reason to smile. Um, I would you know I was down, but now that I'm good, I'm I'm happy. And and you know whether he means popularity wise, or 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 he's in a better place mentally, or or you know or maybe even money, probably not. I mean, how am I supposed to know? Whatever he's talking about. Uh, you know that whole thing of being in not not so good of a place and then being in a good place it does change your mindset you know there's some people who are positive all the time but i think for most people it's the um your situation your situation and how your life is affects how positive you are towards other people and how positive you are towards yourself as a person and all that so i really mess with the message and the storytelling is good and the only thing i don't like about it and this is even, even the thing i don't not like about it is he only did the chorus once i wish he would have done it like more than once because the chorus that's was a fire. good point that is a good yeah. point. yeah like he put it at the end i was like like the song's still fire um but i think he should have had it in the middle or at the start at least i mean it wasn't that long of a song but that's whatever i mean it's a stylistic choice you know yeah so um uh probably just wanted it to be because you know then it maybe would have taken away from the talking and all that but uh, i'm rambling on too long Point is, I do really like the song. I give it a ten on ten. Um, and it kind of showed that he can. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, it kind of <laughs> shows that he can. Uh, you know, it ain't really rap, but it's not like all the singing, like the other songs. So it shows he can kind of do the singing, soulful gospel stuff, and he can also do some talking. You know, a little rap. It little shows rap. his versatility. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, overall, great song, and I will personally listen to the rest of this album. But if you want us to review the rest of the album, let us know in the comments. TJ, any final thoughts? Oh, yeah, you know, do I get to outro here? Yes, sir. Um, 
If All you right. Well, video, of listen course, to TJ if outro. You yes, sir. Uh, guys, as always, we hope that our video gives you a reason to smile. Go check out our social media accounts, everything down below. And that's going to do it, guys. Peace out.